Hi guys, uh, I thought today I'll make a video and show you uh, what a paper chart looks like and what are some of the essential features of a paper chart that you should be familiar with. Now I know that uh, many of you are sailing on ships these days which do not carry paper charts or, and uh, you are mostly using EGDIS or electronic chart display information systems or electronic chart plotters but still many ships are required to carry paper charts and even use it uh, in case you do not have a backup EGDIS system if I'm not wrong. So uh, today I'll just show you the basic features of a paper chart and then I hope in future videos I can show you how to do a passage planning, what considerations should be kept for passage planning. Alright, so let's start with the bottom uh, or rather the top uh, left hand corner of the chart uh, which provides you with the details of the chart here and this is something that you should be uh, reading before you start using a chart. You can see that uh, this chart is belongs to an international chart series. What this means is there is a BA chart number which is 4070 and that is your British Admiralty chart number but you also have an international chart number given to you as international 70. Uh, this is for ordering the charts. Uh, this chart is of the Indian Ocean. You can see the southern coast of the African continent here. You have Madagascar here. You have the islands of Reunion and Mauritius given here. But at the same time uh, if I take the chart to the other side there, you can see the Australian coast and part of the Indonesian coast there as well. Uh, so I'll come back to the top uh, left hand corner of the chart which gives you the chart details. So in this top left hand corner you can see the ocean that is covered by this chart is given. This is the Indian Ocean which and the southern portion of the African continent uh, is the focus here. Uh, you can see there are ports of Dar es Salaam and Mombasa here. The ports are mentioned here. Uh, along the coast you can also see there are a lot of lights and the light details are given here as well. You can see these are uh, recons uh, and these are lights given and you can see the details of the lights are there as well. And you can find further details about these lights of course in the Admiralty list of uh, light signals. Uh, I'll come back to the details of the chart which are given here. So you can see the scale of the chart is given here. This is the scale of the chart. And there are various scales. You have the large scale charts and the small scale charts. So this is somewhere in the middle. This is uh, not a small scale chart but also not a very large scale chart. Uh, then the projection is Mercator projection which is the popular projection used for charts. Uh, the other projection is the mnemonic projection which uses the great circle. But this is a Mercator projection. Most of the charts use this projection. Uh, this has been produced by the hydrographer of the Navy in United Kingdom. This is an old chart from the 1970s series. I'm just taking this as an example here. The magnetic variation curves are for 1975. So what are those magnetic variation curves? Well, you can see these purple lines here or these pink lines here. These are the magnetic variation curves. So there are many of them throughout the charts. There are many of them. And you can see on these curves, the variation is given. For example, this is 10 degrees west. And the annual rate of change of variation is given as, as well. So this is one minute west. So you can see that uh, one minute west is the annual change of variation. So when it's west, you add uh, the change given for every year. So this is for 1978, of course. So if it was 1985 today, you would be adding one uh, times seven. So seven years and then you would be adding that to the variation here. But this is 1978. Today is 2019. Uh, this is about 41 odd years. So you will be adding 41 minutes to this. But these are now of course old old charts and old values so these don't hold today but I'm just giving an example here. So you can have east east corrections as well if it's east corrections for every year you sum up the corrections. For example if this is 2 minutes east uh, you will sum up the correction from 1978 to today so 41 years times 2 is 82 minutes but you will subtract 82 minutes from the correction. So if it's east you will subtract it if it's west you will add it. Alright, so then you have the magnetic variation is shown in degrees followed by the letter east or west. So E and W stand for east-west. The annual change is expressed in minutes with the letter east and west. So all these details are given in the chart here. On the chart here you should be reading these. Uh, details about the doubtful data are given as well. So doubtful data is reported but unconfirmed depths or dangers are indicated by an encircling dotted line. So if there is any doubt about the depths, uh, it's given as encircling dotted line. I can show you an example here. You can see an example here. Uh, this example here is a depth given but it is an encircling dotted line. That means they are very, uh, they're not very sure about the depth here and that's why you have to be very careful if you're navigating your ship through this area here. Alright, other than that, uh, 
you have uh, been uh, given details of the boundaries uh, and you also have the lights here like I said the lights are given here some of the details of the lights are given if it is a further uh, large scale chart you will have the entire details given to you otherwise you can take the name of this light and go into the admiralty list of light signals and you can find details of the light all right you can see these shallow patches are shown in light blue color these are shallow patches of water compared to the other so you can see the depths what depths of water are given here this is all in meters so you can see this is all in thousands of meters these are very deep waters very safe for navigation the depth contours are marked here in in black lines so these are all deep waters and that's why these waters are shown as comparatively shallow waters so these are light blue colored in light blue these are all shallow patches you have to be very careful if you're navigating within these areas uh, there are there could be some uncharted depths here as well some unsure depths you can see so mariners will be advised not to navigate through here but uh, depending on the ship of course and how much depth you need it might be very safe to navigate through here we used to navigate over from here we used to go to mauritius and reunion madagascar all the way here to the west coast of africa as well on the other side so anyhow i'll keep going and then uh, you have also have details about the adjoining charts which are given so this is 4070 the charts adjoining to this is uh, 4007 and 4021 which is given to you so you can see details of the adjoining charts given on the side as well uh, what else i can show you i can show you here uh, at the bottom of the chart here you have small corrections given that means these charts have to be corrected for corrections these corrections come out in uh, notices to mariners every week and what you do is you put uh, if this chart if the correction is applicable to this chart you will put the year number and the correction number here uh, these are for the large corrections if you have any temporary or permanent corrections such as t and p corrections t and p corrections from the notices to mariners are put here in pencil because t and p notices are temporary corrections you may have to erase the correction so you put the numbers here in pencil but permanent corrections are rather, rather we call large corrections large corrections are put in pencil here uh, in pen here it's put in permanent ink and you have to put it for every year with the correction number all right apart from that uh, the bottom of the chart also shows you the publishing details so this chart has been published at taunton on 21st of march 1975 it's an old chart it's published by the hydrographer of the navy and the crown copyright is given here as well all right uh, there is this edition is from 1978 so the edition numbers all that is given so make sure if you're ordering paper charts they should be of the latest edition you can find all these details in the chart catalog as well as in the notices to mariners uh, there is nothing else i have to show you this is a compass rose of course there are a couple of compass roses given on the chart this is a compass rose uh, sometimes the variation is given in the compass rose as well but you can see here the variation is given in the contours style but this is a compass rose that you can use for taking bearings uh, for uh, this is mainly for bearings direction keeping steering and sailing plotting courses so this is the compass rose you can take bearings of this and plot them as courses all right there is uh, and then of course you have the latitude scales horizontal lines are all latitude scales and the vertical lines are longitude scales so latitude scales 30 25 20 this is because this is south latitude so this is increasing as you go further south this is on the southern latitude and the longitudes here are all east longitudes so this is uh, 40 degrees 45 50 degrees so these are all adjoining uh, so these are all longitudes all right so depending of course on the area you have the adjoining chart details given here as well so that's pretty much it i think i have not missed anything if I have, then I want to know from you guys through your comments. Uh, otherwise, in the future videos, I want to show you the passage planning techniques, parallel indexing techniques, and how do you go about plotting courses between ports. I hopefully I'll be able to cover all that as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.